Hi again. All right, part three. And I think this is going to be the last part of this one. So the guy who had been taking me to his church and everything, two months later, he and I end up getting married. So this whole time, it was my husband who led me to Christ. So we got married November 26th of 2005. When we got married, we decided that we needed to find a church where I could grow and learn and be able to absorb. So we looked around for a lot of churches for a while, and um, we found one called Faith Family, and we decided to go there. So we went one day, and as I'm sitting in there, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like, this pastor is talking in terms that I can totally understand. Like, it's amazing. Like, I'm understanding everything that he's saying. I feel like I can, like, take everything I'm learning and go out in the world and, and use it. And on top of that, he is funny. So I'm laughing in church. And the praise and worship was amazing. So church gets over with. And I have questions. Of course, I always have questions. So I find one of the pastors and I say, hey, can I talk to you? I have these questions about, you know, some things. And he's like, oh, you know, we have a service right after this. You know, you can call the office on Monday and make an appointment and, you know, I'll see you. Well, that's all I needed to hear. We're walking out of the church and I'm like, there is no freaking way I'm coming back to this church. I am, mean, you don't even have time to talk to me. I'm complaining to Ted. Next thing I know, I hear, wait, wait. I turn around, the pastor is walk, is running through the parking lot after me. What now? Yeah. He says the Holy Spirit told him to come and get me. Brought me back into the, the church. We went to his office and we sat there and we talked for, I think, almost an hour. It's been my church ever since. Ever since 2005, it's been my church. So let's talk about this Christian music, okay? So Ted was brought up in church. When he lived at home, you know, he, his family took him to church and everything. And then in his adult life, he um, went away from church. And then um, after his divorce, he came back to Christ again. So when we were dating, he said, you know, I'd like you to listen to this Christian music. And so I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. So I listened to it and I'm like, okay, really? Seriously? Um, love songs to God? Okay, whatever. But just to make him happy, I thought, okay, I'll just keep listening. And okay, you know, I, I kind of feel like I owe him. So I'm listening and then the next thing you know, I'm kind of like tapping my feet to, to the music. And then the next thing you know, I'm doing one of these with it, you know, and then the next thing you know, I know the verses. And then the next thing you know, I'm like, praise Jesus. This is an awesome song. Oh my gosh. And so I was hooked. So when you accept Christ into your life, the only thing that changes then is that you are not going to hell anymore. Christ died on the cross for your sins and you are going to heaven now when you die. Everything else though, your mind, your brain, your thoughts, they have not changed. A little switch, dink, does not go off and say, oh, okay, you accepted Christ. And so like, you know, although the word says that we are a new creation in Christ, once we accept him inside of us, we have to let the Holy Spirit come in and um, change us because we still have those thoughts. I still spoke like a sailor. I still threw around sexual innuendo all the time at the very beginning. Oh, for a while until I learned better. So it, it took a while. So when you get saved, you need to find somebody to disciple you. And that's what the next part of my series is going to be about is discipleship. It's very important that you find people who can teach you about the word, 
you know, get into a good Bible-based church and then find people who can help you on your journey in um, understanding the Bible. I got myself the Amplified Bible because I like the, the meat. I like that it's very wordy and very descriptive. So for me, that worked. The King James with all the thou's and these and oh my gosh, I just could not relate. I mean, they say the Bible is written on a third grade level, but I didn't understand it at all. But then when I got a version that I understood, I was good as gold. So I just like jumped into that. I dumped, I jumped into that, um, that amplified version. Sorry, that was my colostomy. Um, and it was fantastic for me. My Bible is highlighted everywhere. Well, thanks for spending this time with me. I'm sorry it was a three-parter just to talk about my salvation story, but I felt it was so important to get it all out there because that's how it all started. That's how my, this whole walk with God started for me was, you know, people planting seeds in me, watering that ground, and then came the harvest. So I will see you next time. I'm planning on dropping these videos on Saturdays in the morning um, once I can get this whole thing figured out. So again, like, subscribe, share. Um, there's a little bell there that you can click on so that um, you know the next time that I post a video. And thanks for sharing this time with me and sharing my journey with me. I really enjoyed our time together. Have a great week. Bye.